So I want you to draw your uh, thoracic spinous processes all the way down to about seven or eight. And I want you to start feeling how they start going caudal. They're very boxy, very pointy up here, and they start sliding down the spine. So his eight is going to be about right there, which is close for the inferior aspect of the scapula. Okay. So one, two, three, we're still at the same levels of the transverse process of, of uh, the spinous process. We're still at the same level pretty much at T4. And about T5, T6, you got to start considering the transverse process is going to be a little bit higher. Okay. So maybe uh, at five, we'll palpate it in a minute. It's going to be about like this, six, five, there, seven, six, about like that. One of the best ways of doing that is to come in feeling the rib. So here comes his rib at T7. My marking's going to be off just a little bit right there. It's actually, there's his transverse process right there. So I can feel his um, T7 coming up like that. Okay. Um, palpate the rib angles and mark each one of these ribs coming off the transverse process, like so. The ribs are actually, at this point, they're actually starting to tilt slightly inferior because they're getting ready to wrap around and come up on the sternum. Okay. We have, obviously, a lot of erector spinae here. We have the iliocostalis muscle coming up laterally and attaching to the angles of the ribs like this. I want you to palpate the little bitty rotators that are going one segment, and then you have multifidus that are going about two segments down, like that. And you can't feel these, but you, then you have those iliocostalis um, muscles coming from the transverse process going right to the rib like that. And those are the ones we believe that can actually keep holding the rib up. They respond when you, when you gap the joint, it takes care of it. Okay, so just go and mark your uh, mid thoracic region down to about T8 or so. Mark your transverse processes. Remember the rules of threes. Follow your rib up and find all the articulations of those. Okay, and mark some of the muscles as well. 